name is Leo, and this is another reading of the Elder Scrolls. Today we're going to be reading Silence by Genfiel Kimrith. I, wait, I have heard of you, said the old vagabond, very impressed. Aren't you that adventurer who slew all those ash vampires in Ghostgate a couple of months back? That I am, said Austin Silverthorn, with a weary smile for his admirer. admirer. He knew that his name was not yet legendary, and it was best to be polite. And you are? My name would have no meaning to you, but I am El Dathul, he said, raising a glass of grief. I hail from the region of Ghostgate, which is how I heard your name. Are you on an adventure as adventure as we speak? Yes, said Silverthorn with a grim expression. I'm challenged to rid the Grayslands of a rogue battle mage by the name of Elgamau. I've heard of him as well, said Dathril. He is said to be very powerful and implacable, 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 implacable foe. That is why I'm drinking now, sighed Dagathor. So tell me, what is your profession? I do nothing, said Dagathor, with much measure of pride. But in, my, but in my youth, I used to teach skills of illusion at the University of Gwilym. Perhaps you can help me then, said Silverthorn, suddenly excited. Can you teach me the spell silence? I can certainly pay you. I know that spell, said Dathrow. You might find invisibility very helpful as well, or perhaps darkness, which would allow you to sneak up on old Agamaro. No, said Silverthorn firmly. I only have time to learn one spell. I have to kill Agamaro. Collect the awkward, the award, the awkward, what? Shut up. The award, I have to collect the award, and be back in Nicias as quickly as possible. My wife worries when I'm away. Please hold. Give a drink. <laughs> Death will agreed, and as the two settled back in their seats at the quarter club and tossed back glasses of grief, the old man shared his knowledge of the spell. He explained what it truly meant to bend sound, creating a cone of silence as glass can bend light. He had Silverthorn close his eyes while he tapped the side of his glass, making him picture the sound as the physical entity it was before it was extinguished. The adventurer, after a few hours of instruction, paid the old teacher and set off on his way. In the Radvin, <laughs> El Gamaro's stronghold was not far from Sadath Moor, and he soon saw the blight and ruin that the battle mages that was the battle mages calling card delving into the depths of the ruins silverthorn was set upon by the servitors servitors of ergomaro ergomaro yeah what you said <laughs> living and undead with his enchanted ebony blade he cut through legions before facing the master himself in the desolate main hall Egomaro bowed to his adversary, sardonically, and then prepared to unleash a fireball to incinerate him. Before he had uttered the first word of the spell, he suddenly found that all the creaking and sighing of the ruins around him had been stilled. He opened his voice to speak, but there was no sound. Silverthorn took his time, strolling across the length of the hall, before dispatching the battle mage with one stroke of his blade. <gasps> Elgamar is blind. Oh, that's probably, yeah, you're probably right. The adventurer rushed back to the tribunal temple, where he had received his quest, accepted the gold and the thanks, and was back in his house in Nicias, but a few days later. His wife, Lyra, was beside herself with worry. Wait a minute. I think the spell is not actually for killing this guy, it's for his wife. <gasps> Shut her up. Oh, if only. 
All I could do... Wait, no, that's her. All I can do night after night is toss and turn. Don't do that voice, sorry. I kept imagining you burned to ashes by that battle mage. And where would that leave me? Do we have enough gold that I could support myself if you, Saint Seren, let it not be so? Oh, Saint Seren, let it not be so. We're killed during one of these jaunts? I don't think so. Why couldn't you get a nice position at the Fighters Guild right here in town? I hear they're looking for a trainer for the Imperial Guard. I know, I think I know where this is going. I know, I know, I know. You want a life of adventure and danger and freedom. But if you'd only take one moment to think of me stuck, stuck here all by myself worrying about you, I suppose you'd like it if I took more of an interest in your work. But it's like I was telling Sir Castellar Vignan the other day. I said, Castellar, what good is a husband? Liar continued to talk. Death to the fact that her words were dead before they left her mouth. Silverthorn smiled and nodded his head, enjoying the silence. He could have killed Agamemnon without the spell, he considered, but he could not have survived his wife. Ba ba ba! I knew it, I knew it, that's where it was going. Ah, oh, that's a good one. I like it, I like it. That was Silence by Gamfield Kimbreth. And this has been another reading of the Elder Scrolls, but for now, my name is Leo, and I will see you next time.